Hello friends, in today's video, we are going to talk about mortgage pre-approval. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so and don't forget to press the bell icon. Also, I want to share a good news with you. We are doing some cool stuff at TikTok and you can follow us on TikTok as well at SaveMax Real Estate. So what is mortgage pre-approval? Mortgage pre-approval is a process where you go to your bank, any financial institution or a lender and request them to approve you for a specific amount of mortgage. In mortgage pre-approval, you technically don't need a property. So what is the benefit of getting a pre-approval? The first big benefit of getting a pre-approval is you come to know what amount of mortgage you qualify for. Second big advantage, you know what rate you will be getting from the bank and what are the other terms and condition. And the biggest advantage of getting the mortgage pre-approval, sometime the market is like what it is today and you might need to waive that condition to get the property in multiple offer situation. So if you have a pre-approval, that is going to give you an extra confidence before you remove that condition. Now let me explain you how the process works. So when you are going to approach your bank or any financial institution, they are going to ask you some specific documentation which might include documents for your income, your credit history, your down payment proof and any other assets and liability which you can show them. Based on that information, the bank is going to process your file and will give you a pre-approval which in most of the cases is valid for 90 to 120 days but it all depends upon the bank or the financial institution. Now this whole process of pre-approval takes approximately 24 to 48 hours for any bank to process your application. Now when you get a pre-approval letter from your bank, make sure go through all the terms and conditions and ask as many questions as you can. There are few things which you need to be careful about. First of all, check how much mortgage amount you qualify for. And when I say mortgage amount, that is not the purchase price of the property. That is the amount which you qualify for the mortgage plus adding your down payment or whatever the money you are putting up there as your down payment. So collectively that becomes the purchase price of your property. Second and most important thing, check the rate. Either it is a fixed rate or variable rate. And then make sure to check if there is any other terms and condition. And if you don't understand anything, ask for a clarification from your bank personnel or from your mortgage broker. I will share an, another tip with you. It is always a good idea to share the terms and condition of the mortgage pre-approval with your realtor. Realtors know these things a little bit better because of their experience and they can maybe guide you to add any special request from the bank. Now, what is the real stress test when you go to the bank for any mortgage pre-approval? It is based on five C's. So this is a formula of five C, which bank they normally look into. The first C of that is your character. What does that mean? They overall look at your history. How capable are you to pay that mortgage and how good you are on managing your credit? Now the second C is capacity. How much you can afford? It all depends upon your income. Banks normally they go five times of your gross income. Now the third and most important criteria is your credit. This determines your rate of interest as well. Bank, they prefer clients with good credit and the definition of good credit is you should have a minimum credit score of 680. There should not be any late payments over there and make sure you have not used any of your credit card or line of credit more than 50%. That will help you to maintain your credit score at a good level and bank will prefer you to give you a good rate. Now the fourth C is capital. Where bank they look how much assets you have and how many liabilities you are carrying. So your capital is asset minus liability. Make sure show good assets to the bank whatever you carry and give them the information about your liabilities as well. They can pull this record from your credit score as well but sometimes everything doesn't show on your credit. So you have to make sure you provide that information to your bank so that they can see how much you qualify for. 
I don't want you to have the last minute trouble. So make sure disclose as much information as you can to your bank so that they can give you the right qualification. Now the fifth C, which actually comes into the picture when you are going for a final approval of your mortgage, and that is collateral. What kind of asset or what is your property which you are offering to your bank as a collateral to register the mortgage on it? Bank, they wanna make sure the property is in a good condition. Sometime, depending upon the situation, they do the appraisal on the property as well. And they have their own inbuilt systems in the bank where they check the value of the property to make sure they are giving the money on the right collateral. So this was a very easy and simple process for your mortgage pre-approval. And I just wanna let you know guys, SaveMax team can help you to get free mortgage pre-approvals if you are planning to buy any property or wanna make any investment. So you might be having another question in your mind. Does it impact your credit when you go for the mortgage pre-approval and bank they pull your credit? See, in general, if there are three or four inquiries in a year, it normally doesn't impact your credit too much. And also, if you are making multiple inquiries on your credit within 30 days for finding the mortgage rates, normally it is considered as one inquiry on your credit score. After watching this video, I'm sure now you know the basics of mortgage pre-approval. It will help you to start searching for your new house and buying that property to go and enjoy with your family. Also, there are many realtor friends who might be watching this video. I'm pretty sure by now you know SaveMax is redefining the real estate industry by our new program. Sign deal today, get paid today. Under this program, you don't need to wait for closing to get your commission check. We pay you once you sign the deal, form it up and submit your documents to the office. Sign deal today, get paid today. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon. And as I mentioned earlier, now we are doing some cool stuff on TikTok. So follow us at SaveMax Real Estate on TikTok. Thank you.